Time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson. Okay, Nate, so uh, fall is here, temperatures are dropping, but that also means that our daylight hours are getting <laughs> falling smaller. Yeah, we lose less, about two right? minutes and 40 seconds of daylight. That's a lot of time. Day. So it adds up. Yeah, in a fact, lot of time. We've got a graphic to show you just how much daylight we're going to lose in the next week, the next month. And by the time we get to winter solstice, which is December 21st, when we officially kick off winter, so we just kicked off fall officially on uh, Saturday, yesterday. So sunrise today, 716, sunset 721 today. We get a, a whopping 12 hours and four minutes of daylight today so roughly equal parts day and night next week we lose 19 more minutes we get 11 hours and 45 minutes sunsets at 709 and then by next month 6 34 p.m. is your sunset time sunrise 748 we lose another hour and 20 minutes and then by the time we get to December 21st yep we're just down to nine hours 14 minutes of daylight almost three hours of daylight less than we see right now sunsets around five o'clock of course that's when uh, daylight saving also comes to an end so we're gonna flip our clocks back so sunrise at 748 next month and at 748 on uh, December 21st. So how about that? Pretty cool. All right, let's take a look around some of uh, our region. We've got beautiful blue skies. Cedar City showing off some of the clear conditions in southern Utah. It's been a phenomenal day. Temperatures rebounding from yesterday with some of the cloud cover and some light precipitation. Eastern Utah, look at that. Gorgeous across the Colorado River. Red Cliffs, not, uh, Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab showing 78 degrees. Very comfortable temperatures right now. So we're all still trending a little cooler than normal at least in southern Utah as we're continuing to rebound along the Wasatch Front. It's pretty close to average. Upper 70s is right where we are, and that's normal for us this time of year. High pressure then in place. It's going to keep us warm and sunny, at least for now. We do have some changes arriving later in the work week. We'll have increasing winds on Thursday. In fact, it's looking like anywhere from 15 to 25 mile per hour sustained winds on Thursday and Friday, so quite blustery. And that's going to blow in some changes for the weekend as we're going to watch a trough of low pressure approach from the Pacific Northwest. So here's a look at the upper level uh, future cache. You can see the jet stream just to the north of us, high pressure overhead. Area of low pressure skirts to the north and east. That one misses us. But we get another area of low pressure that swings in out of the Pacific Ocean, drops into the Pacific Northwest. This is Thursday. This one's strong enough to break down the ridge that's in place. Notice the cooler temperatures that are moving in into the end of the week, and they'll be sticking around through the weekend as chances of moisture are going to increase as well along the Wasatch Front. So by the end of Friday into Saturday, we'll start to see enough moisture. I think we'll see some uh, showery conditions and high elevation snow yet again by this next weekend. Highs tomorrow, 85 in Salt Lake, 80 in Nephi, Delta 82, 77 in Cedar. Perfect 90 degree day in St. George. That's average for Southern Utah. 90 on Tuesday, 91 on Wednesday, mainly sunshine, some breezy winds in Southern Utah as well, about 90 for the high. By the end of the week, windy conditions increasing across Southern Utah as well, It'll be 87, dropping to just 80 on Saturday. Cool air on Sunday, windy and just 73 degrees. So we're feeling the cooler temperatures. It's a dry front though for Southern Utah and the Wasatch Front, we will see some shower activity. 85 degrees on Monday and on Tuesday, 83 on Wednesday, dropping to the upper 70s on Thursday. So not much change in the next four days. It's the five, six, seven day outlook when we're 74 degrees, partly cloudy on Friday. It'll be windy. Sky showers and thunderstorms possible Saturday just 64 for the high and 62 on Sunday with more shower activity and breezy winds. Emily.